I wanted to talk about something that I thought was interesting today and share with you some of my knowledge and research after this event occurred. I went and I was looking into stuff. So Tales of the Shire has been a very highly anticipated release in the cozy gaming community. It is a Lord of the Rings cozy game. It's set in the Shire, Hobbit life, hashtag Hobbit life in the Shire. Um, and it's supposed to be just like a very casual life simulation game. Probably no combat. Um, as far as I know, things like fishing, um, we're, we're cooking, you know, cause Hobbits do eat like a lot and doing fun, cute little quests, very low stakes game. So people have been really looking forward to this game, right? For a long time. And, um, unfortunately it got pushed back. It was supposed to be released in the fall of 2024, and now it is launching in early 2025. I have no problem with games taking a little bit longer to bake in the oven, okay? And they're still moving forward with this Hobbit Day showcase on September 22nd, and probably going to do some more like game previews and things like that. I guess they are sharing more information about the official release date. I personally do not have a problem with games ever being delayed. I think that, you know, if you need more time for it to be better, then please take that time because the release is so important. If your game sucks and is buggy and awful on release, then it's game over. Your shit's in the grave. I unfortunately have already made my opinions about Tales of the Shire known in a very, I would say, you know, not very classy way. I kind of regretted tweeting this, um, but I kept it up anyways. So hey, like how much did I really regret it? I was super stoked when this game was announced, but not gonna lie, I'm super tired of games looking like this. Why must every cozy game have a mobile game blob style nowadays? Ooh. Ouch. I tweeted this all the way back in April. Um, and that was when they released their first trailer. So it was still very like fresh to me. I do think that the environment is very beautiful, but I think that the hobbits are ugly. And I was just looking for something like a little bit more like sexy and cool and um, maybe more like fable or something. But it seems to be a game that I would really enjoy. It's like house decoration, cooking, fishing, all of that stuff. Gardening. Wow, look at that. See, I love that kind of stuff. That's my favorite genre of game. I'm not really like too peeved off about like, we're not leaving the Shire to go on adventures or anything. <laughs> At least I don't think so. I watched this IGN preview that came out about two months ago, and they had a lot more gameplay clips in here that I wanted to show you that I thought were really cool. So like, okay, see, we're gardening, but then like freely placing furniture, like, ooh, that is so sexy to me and like I don't mind how the UI looks or anything and like the more that I look at the hobbits the more I'm like all right I I can kind of pull the stick out of my ass a little bit it doesn't look horrible it's just like I was hoping for something different that didn't happen and I had a knee-jerk reaction to it saying it looks like a piece of shit mobile game <laughs> which I mean is that untrue I don't know but I think that I would have preferred something a little bit different and I'm not a game developer. So it's not like I even know what I'm talking about. I am just a little bit traumatized from Fay Farm where I really enjoyed the gameplay and the story of that game, but I thought it was but ugly and it made me not enjoy a certain aspect of the gameplay, which was like dating, you know, and getting to know the characters. First of all, all of the characters were very one note and they were not good. The writing was not good in that game at all, but also also, like the characters were ugly. Like, why would I want to date? Let me even let me just show you. Ugh, now I gotta go find this Fay Farm video, which I felt like was a little bit of a mean video. <laughs> it, you know, I've recently been um toning it down on <laughs> my opinions a little bit. Okay, see, like they're like Bloxbergy to me. I just I just didn't really enjoy it. Um, and it's not like I need everything to be like sexy and have sex appeal. I just was hoping for something a little bit more mature feeling, I suppose. I'm really terrible at articulating why I don't like something, God. But I have had a newfound interest in the game after learning more about Way to Workshop and what they do. So they are the ones that are developing Tales of the Shire. And as far as I can tell, the only game that they have done is Tales of the Shire. Um, from all of my research here, it's only Tales of the Shire and like this board game. But they have a very interesting company. So so they're not really like a video game development company as far as what they're known for. Um, they're actually known for working on the films. 
So the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Hobbit movies, they do a lot of like costuming, props, set dressing, like art department, and even visual effects on all sorts of movies. Like I was kind of like really impressed by this roster. They have a lot of cool shit on here, like Dune, Dune 2, Alien Romulus, like, whoa, this is so cool. And like, of course, the original Lord of the Rings movies. And I think that they would probably do a very good job with like, if you're a lore head or you're very into Lord of the Rings. I'm casually into Lord of the Rings, so I feel like I'm going to very much like enjoy their work on the lore and making it very accurate. But yeah, they do like very cool stuff. And um, you know, Academy Award winning visual effects for the Lord of the Rings, King Kong and Avatar, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, The Avengers, Prometheus, The Hobbit trilogy. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. So that made me like a little bit more excited for what they're going to do with the Tales of the Shire. I don't know. I'm just excited to play it when it does come out. I hope that I get over myself a little bit and I can just go into it without any bias towards the art style. I am very curious to know if this pushback of the release date affects you at all. Um, if you're butthurt by it or if you're like, yay, that's totally fine. If you've even heard of this game, if you're really looking forward to this game, what your opinions are based on what we've seen thus far, let me know. This is my official second channel, List Pilled. Uh, my original main channel is List the Last, so feel free to check that out if you've never heard of that. Excuse the mess. Life is just a mess right now. One thing I do want to mention is that um, they did reach out to do paid promotion for the game. I did not accept any paid promotion. So if you're like wary that this is an ad because I was just talking about the pushback and like how I'm low-key kind of excited, don't worry, I this is not an ad. <laughs> I just feel like I had to like mention that because I've seen like a lot of people get sponsored by Tales of the Shire this last week and I did not join that campaign, okay? But let me know if there's anything else that you wanted me to talk about on the channel. I would be more than happy to look into things. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will uh, see you in the next one.